I lost work in DaVinci Resolve. And if you've used Resolve for any real period of time, you'll know that's not something that really happens. We've got backup. We've got the amazing live save, which now recently, recently like a year ago, is on by default. Amazing. But I ran into a specific bug that I thought I knew how to handle. Spoiler alert, I didn't. But I've looked around, I've done the research, and now I want to share with all of you what I found so that if you ever run into this issue, you'll know exactly what to do and how to handle it. And I want to start by pointing out something you might never have noticed in Resolve. If you're on the edit page and you're cutting stuff, moving around, adding effects, all of that. Normally, you have to be a little quick to catch it, but up at the top of your timeline, next to the name of your timeline, um, if you change something real quick, you will get a little pop-up that says edited. And you can see this just went away very quickly, and that is because I have live save on. So that is just rolling as I change things, uh, modify them however I want. We get that edited tab, and then pretty quickly it goes away because that live save kicks in. But even if you change something really quick and click Control S, you'll get a little flash of something, and then that'll go away as well. But what I ran into was a complete inability to save. I would click Control S, I wouldn't even get a flash of a pop-up bar, and at the top of my screen, edited tag wouldn't go away. And even if I went to close the program, I would get a pop-up saying, hey, you haven't saved, do you wanna save or do you just wanna close? And when that pop-up happened, if I clicked save, it still would it save? Now, I believe I was in uh, the full release for Resolve 18 when this happened. And looking on different forums and stuff like that, um, I have seen instances of this specific bug going back several different versions. So I'm pretty sure this is still something you could run into. And yes, this issue even prevents the main backups outside of live save or auto save from kicking in. So if you do close the program without fixing this, you can lose work. Now there are two main things that I've read that could help get you out of this situation. The first, and it looks like the real cause of this, is some funky stuff going on on the Fairlight page. I've tried to recreate the conditions where this bug might kick in. I have haven't been able to, which hey, is a good sign. But if you have this issue, the first place I would look is on the Fairlight page and look if any random clip is selected and try deselecting that or moving it around, bumping it something, and then getting back to the edit page, see if you can save then. But if that doesn't work, or maybe the main method I would try first is actually completely closing your timeline. The project will still be up, but you can close your timeline and that might kick things around to where you can then save again. This makes sense if the issue is on the Fairlight page because it would then close out of that and then you can open it back up and you know, you'll be good to save. Now, a lot of people might not know this is something you can actually do. And even when you right click on your timeline, um, there isn't just an option here to close your timeline. You have disable timeline, but what we want is actually to select that timeline, come up to file and just down to close current timeline. You can do that, it will close just like you had nothing else open. And even if you have a second timeline, that can be open, but you can always open up your main timeline boom. And then if you had any running issues, hopefully this clears it out a bit and then you can just save or make sure that little uh, text tag goes away up here as well. But that is two quick things to try if you ever run into this issue where you cannot save your project inside Resolve. Jump over to the Fusion page, see if any random clip is selected or go ahead and close your main timeline open it back up, see if that gets you where you want to go. Obviously, troubleshooting issues like these can be very complicated and confusing and frustrating, but you know what's not frustrating? Finding great music and sound effects through the sponsor of today's video, Artlist. Artlist provides music and sound effects to creators just like you. They have different licensing options covering everything from TikTok, Twitch streams and YouTube videos, all the way up to professional client work and broadcast television with the most accessible plans starting at just $9.99 a month when you choose to bill annually. Unlimited music and sound effects updated daily so you can find the perfect audio for your videos. You can have music playlists for your live streams, but then you can also find individual clips for your VOD content to make sure you exactly nail the style and tone you're going for. And then you have their entire sound effects library to spice up your animations and effects on top of it all. So head over to artlist.io to learn more and find out which plan is right for you. And when you sign up using the link in the description of this video, you will also get two free months added to your subscription. Thank you, Artlist, for sponsoring this video. Bonus bug squashing tip. Did you know that there has already been an update after the full release of Resolve 18? Yes, and it addresses an issue that I got lots of comments about. In 18, lots of users were having issues with their render cache. Their cache clips were going offline. It was confusing to try to fix. 
it was generally a headache. And while there were some workarounds at the time, it looks like this issue has been resolved in this update. So if you get the pop-up when you're opening Resolve, go ahead and grab that update. If you're not sure if you have that update, you can always head to the support page of Resolve. Make sure you grab it there. I was going to do a video about this other issue, but then Resolve just fixed it. So that got bumped to bonus tip territory update resolve. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that none of you run into this issue and end up losing work because of it like I did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.